Hey guys, Nina Rell here and welcome back to a new video. As you can see, this is going to be my newest sketchbook update and I'm excited to show you guys the sketchbook. It's not a sketchbook that I'm honestly proud of, but it's a sketchbook that's filled with ideas and all that good stuff so um like always the stickers on the front these two i got from a convention this one i got from my friend saduke scribbles and this is from a inspire me korea box that i got a month or two ago and i'm actually contemplating if i do have any extra money in the future i will get me another one because that actually was a pretty dope box so um so i started this sketchbook some september 1st and I ended it October 16th. Actually, I really don't know when I started it, but I, I kind of went off referencing this video. So I, apparently I uploaded this September 1st. So I might have started it the last day of August. Don't know. But um, yeah, and this sticker is mine. So yeah. So um, the first two pages you guys have already seen because these these were um, featured in the video of me trying out the Azude markers. So this was drawing number one and this one was drawing number two all right and here's some doodles of Akise and Kohori to be honest I like Kohori sketch more than I like Akise's but it's whatever I just wanted to try practicing drawing my characters in more formal wear I know half of my characters aren't going to wear it but you know it's good to dream of them wearing different clothes um, and here's a drawing of Rio from Devilman Crybaby. And as much as I hated this at first, it actually turned out really nice. So I actually really like it. <laughs> and I might make this a print for my store orders when I run out my other ones. Um, this is bleed through. <laughs> so, um, here are some doodles of Aiko right here. And here is Akise. You're going to see a lot of Akise shots because I'm trying to figure out his fashion style. So you will see a lot of him in different poses like this so yeet all right and here's some uh, so doodles of my characters Micah and Ari um, I hoped this lighting would be able to show these sketches off more but um, I drew a lot of my sketches in blue pencil so I'm sorry if you're not able to see them that well but um yeah and here's a doodle of Micah right here in a brown pencil <laughs> So, um, here's a drawing of Micah I did in like two seconds, color inked it in two seconds, and then colored it in two seconds because I really wanted something to color that day. So, I drew this very hideous drawing of Micah, and here's some doodles of Nadu because I miss him. All right, and uh, right here is some more sketches of Micah and Ari. I really like this one. I think I'm thinking about making it a sticker, actually, so I might do that um, when I get more time. And here's a drawing of me because I don't draw me a lot. <laughs> so I just really wanted to draw myself because, again, I'm an art block, actually, so it's hard for me to think of anything to draw. And when you don't have anything to draw, draw yourself because it's easier to draw yourself than try to come up with original ideas. <laughs> And here is Elizabeth from Seven Deadly Sins because I think I drew this after I watched season four, which I binged in one day, so don't do what I did. <laughs> but I was so inspired, so I decided to draw her. All right, and here's my character Dea in the pet girl of Sakura So style because I wanted to try drawing her more, so I just did the style challenge, and this is the only one that I actually really liked. Um, and here's some sketches of John Cookie or JK from BTS because he's actually really cute to draw, to be honest. All right, and here's some more sketches of Micah and Ari being also oh them. Um, and here's my versions of Puka and Gadu because I liked my versions of them. So I'm trying to draw them on a regular and try to make them characters of mine, even though I know I didn't create them, but I kind of love my original look I gave them. So I'm still working on them, but you know, I think it's cute. Uh, here's some more fashion Akise because again, I'm trying to figure out his style and all of the coloring, if it's not alcohol marker, is done with highlighter because highlighters are so fun to color with. And I bought a lot more highlighters. So all the color you're going to see from here on out, if it's not alcohol markers, it's highlighter solely so um here is some doodles of manabu i didn't finish this one apparently and these are doodles of dylan wong 
he was um, Doming Sa in the Chinese 2018 remake of Meteor Garden. And let me tell you, this is my favorite drawing I've ever did of him in my lifetime. And this is the uh, little doodle I did of him when he got beat up for Shansai. So that's what that is. Um, here's a pencil sketch of my character Naoya, which again, you're probably not going to be able to see. <laughs> And here's a drawing I did of my character Azalea because again, I'm an art blog. So I was like, let me just draw a girl. <laughs> And she was the one that came out, which I think she turned out pretty cute. Um, and then I had the sudden inspiration to draw Mugen from Samurai Champloo because I'm going to admit this right now. He is super freaking hard to draw. So I'm like, Narelle, sit down, go on Google and find some pictures and study him because it's always nice to study a character that you just can't draw. <laughs> So I looked at a photo for this one and, you know, kind of got him down of what he will look like in my style. And then I found a, a screenshot of him when on an episode he went to rescue Fu, which I'm trying not to spoil it. And he got wet, so his hair was down and, oh, Mugen looks so hot with his hair down. So I'm like, let me draw that. And then you can't really see it, but I drew his beard stubble because he had that in that episode. So yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. So this you're not going to be able to see either. Um, here's some failed sketches of Bright Vegeta Wit. You're going to see a lot of him and a lot of fails of him because I cannot draw him to save my life. Though I do really like that sketch right there. That one turned out okay, in my opinion. All right. And and here's some sketches of Aiko right here. And this is um, Jin Jin from The Brightest Star in the Sky. Because this is when I finished it. So on the back, you can obviously tell there's going to be some sketches of Zitao. Because he plays Zhang Boju in the drama, which is the male lead. So I found some pictures of him on his Instagram. So that's him from the front. If my phone would focus. Come on, phone. There we go. So that's a frontal shot. And this was an actual picture of him on his Instagram. And then before I drew this drawing, I drew his eye right here. Because Zetao has, like, really interesting eyes. So I'm like, let me get the shape of his eye before... Ugh. Before I actually dive into actual drawing of him, and this is a video actually, so I'll link it down below as well because this is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. I kind of want to make this one a print too for my orders, but I don't know. <laughs> I kind of want to halt on that because I'm just like, who wants to get prints of Zetao in their orders? So I'm trying to keep it anonymous to like random drawings and not people specific. Um, Let's just say this was a drawing page. So uh, here's Shin Wei, um, who played Shan Tsai in the 2018 Media Garden remake. There's Dylan Wong, again, because I wanted to remake my sticker of them. I wanted to make it singles instead of a together sticker, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take a rain check on that. And this was supposed to be Vanilla's... Ugh. I keep trying to, I keep choking on my spit. Oh my gosh, but this is supposed to be Vanilla's character, Yanta. But um, when I did the drawing on the back of the page, those sketches just became non existent. <laughs> So this is a sketch of Naoya and Neru, and they're listening to Naoya's music because Neru was the only one that's just like, what are you listening to? And he's like, oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> so um, here's a sketch of Suga from BTS and his seesaw look that I freaking love. <laughs> and these, this from here on out is sketches I did at my sister's place because I took a mini vacay um, to my sister's um, apartment for a couple of days because I just needed to get away, guys. So these are drawings I did while I was over there. So this is a drawing I did of Azalea. It took me two days to do because, one, I started the drawing late at night. So I got some, I got the drawing, some inking and some coloring done in one day. And then the next night I finished it. So it was a two day process. <laughs> I feel like if I started it as soon as I got to her place, I would have been done with it. But again, I waited to the ending of that night to start it so it did take me two days to finish it and here are some do more doodles of bright <laughs> i like this one this one is like hideous i don't even know why i put his tag there because it legit is hideous um and this is the last doodle i did at her place so it's doodles of akise and this is the doodles of akise i did when i got home so if you can see that so yeah 
All right, um, and here's some more sketches of Micah and Ari. Um, I'm gonna need to stop drawing with that blue pencil because it's really not showing on my camera at all. But I really love this drawing of Micah eating ice cream. <laughs> I really like it a lot. I just, I don't know. I just don't draw poses like that. So whenever I can execute it well, I'm like, yes. <laughs> so um, here's my doodle of Hachel and Puff I did on an Instagram live. And then I made it a video because I was able to save the footage apparently so um i will link this down below if you guys want to see it as a video um here's my sticker of ray from the promised neverland because this was a mishap so i just stuck it in here because i didn't know where else to put it so i put it in here and here's a drawing i did with some new highlighters i got not too long ago and they actually work really nice i really like them and i need to make a highlighter video soon in the future um here's some more blue pencil sketches if my phone could focus there we go this is the only one worth mentioning so this is me drawing me because again i was an art block so drawing yourself is more important and this is a um failed doodle of bright who like you know you could you easily could have guessed that um and here's some doodles of micah because i'm trying to draw him more <laughs> i'm trying to draw him more and i'm glad that almost half of this sketchbook it's just Micah and Ari because you know you guys got to get to know them sooner or later um and here's the actual finished face shot of Micah um this was colored in colored pencil because I'm trying to get back into colored pencil as well so yeet and on the other side is a full colored <laughs> colored pencil drawing of um Yata and Fushimi from the K project uh you don't even know, you don't even have to realize how much I love this ship. Like, ah. Like, this is the only ship in K that actually sells. Like, I'm pretty sure there's other ships people stand for, but you cannot not stand for for Yata and Fushimi. Because they're just adorable, and I'm just like, I must. I freaking must. And yeah, so this is colored in all colored pencil, and I just live. <laughs> I live for this. I live for it a lot. So I'm just like, ah. So cute. So, so cute. And then I got some new pens from at my um, at the Dollar Tree where my sister lives. And I drew Ico with one of them. And it's really not that bad. They're like gel pens, but they're not as offensive as some gel pens. Because <laughs> some gel pens aren't smooth at all. So, But these ones are super freaking smooth. So I actually really liked how that one turned out, surprisingly. Um... And this is another um, pencil drawing. But this is a Mushra from Shinzo. Um, if you guys have seen Shinzo, freaking let me know. Because I feel like I'm the only one who knows about these type of shows. <laughs> that came out way before a lot of you guys' lifetime. <laughs> and this is another doodle of me. But you're not going to be able to see it. Because again, it's done. It's drawn in a blue pencil. <laughs> uh, and this is that drawing of Senna I did. This was actually a video as well. So I'll link it down below if I remember half of these videos. Um, but yeah, so this was colored in colored pencil as well. And then here are the swatches that I did for this. But um, yeah, so if you have Crayola colored pencils, you can easily get these colors. If you have like the big set, because I have the 100 set. So that's where I got all these colors. So if you can match some of these colors in your set, that's Gucci because I feel like a lot of the colors I use comes in a bigger set than, you know, the smaller sets. But if you can't get these colors, that would be freaking nice. And here is some doodles of Kahari being adorable as she is. And this was a failed highlighter drawing of Alex from Gangsta. Um, I feel like the background color I chose was the wrong color. So hopefully I can redo this in the future because she just looks like a sunburnt person and I don't like that I really don't like it <laughs> and this is a drawing that I did of a kise as a test for those new watercolors I got um a while ago and I got used to them now but this is just me playing around with them and trying to get more of a gouache feel and I kind of realized I don't like that so um I changed the way I use them in the future which you will see later on <laughs> because I just realized that wasn't the way I wanted to go um and here's some doodles of Naoya and she um, this is her and Naru's son, so in case you wanted to know, that's who he is. Um, here's another drawing of Shin Wei, and here's Naru. <laughs> 
Because I feel like I don't draw him at all. So I'm like, yep, yeah, let's plop a Naru there if Dahlia and Chio's over here. <laughs> he has to be included somehow. Um, here's another drawing of Puka right here. And these are some sketches of Bond when he had his longer hair before he cut it off. And I thought he would look so fine with his longer hair. Like, I'm just like, ah! I'm like, ah, but I can't draw a bond to save my life, so it will never happen. <laughs> I will never draw him with his longer hair, because I can't draw him to save my freaking life. And, um, this is supposed to be, um, Hyodo from Welcome to the Ballroom. I wanted to make him the actual picture for that watercolor set I got. He didn't turn out well. <laughs> and here's some more, uh, Akise, and this one was an Instagram video. I just showed me coloring his pants with highlighter, and this was the actual sketch that I did. So, yeah. Um, and here's some more doodles of Aiko. And if I turn this around, is I see a drawing of Micah and Ari, which I posted on Instagram, and a lot of you guys really liked it. So, ah, they're so cute. They're so adorable. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, and here's just a random doodle I did because I was art blocked. Like, I was art blocked for a majority of this, but this is when I was like, yeah, no, it's not working. So I was like, let me just draw a random figure and then try to make sense of it. So that was me making sense of that figure. And here are some sketches of Rayo I did on an Instagram live stream. And these, this is um, a sketch of I Aiko's first design and her newest design, which is her um, official design, because I just felt like this wasn't... The idea I wanted of her, so when I switched over to this, this fits her a lot more. All right, and here's um, Akise and Me Too. So a, a person called Akise Myosjin, Myosjin, and he's like, Me Too, what does that mean? Because Me Too is Korean, and you guys didn't know. <laughs> so he's like, Me Too, please tell me what that means. And he was like, it means handsome, okay? <laughs> and he's like, A. <laughs> he's like, A. <laughs> and here's a cute drawing of Rohei and Hiroki tied by the red string of fate because I honestly wanted to draw Hiroki more than Rohei. So I'm like, let me draw them. It's such a cheesy um, drawing and it turned out so cute. <laughs> so, 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 so cute. And here's some more drawings of Akise right here. This is actually a redraw. If you guys have been following my sketchbook updates, you've seen this sketch in a sketchbook. I'm not going to say which one, but if you guys remember this sketch, you're awesome. And this is another redraw and sketch of my character Aaron come on phone but yeah this is a character I don't draw much anymore I made him I drew him a lot and then I just dropped him off the planet <laughs> and here is a page spread that I really love um here's Aiko wearing a BTS hoodie because I did a sketch of her a while ago with a oversized BTS hoodie and I'm like Aiko would not wear that a day in her lifetime and I said this is more of Aiko's style, and then since it was a BTS theme, I drew Suga right here, colored all in highlighter. At first, I was hating it, and then I was like, mm, it's not that bad. <laughs> and here is younger Aiko right here, being so 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 cute. And at the bottom is a pencil sketch of Naru and Chio. She's she's looking at him like, come on, please, will you do it for me, please? And he's like, oh God, I don't want to do it. <laughs> He's like, I really want her to leave me alone. <laughs> and I kind of wish I put that on Instagram because that actually was very funny. <laughs> and ah, this is one of my favorite pages. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So over here is some more Brightest Star in the Sky fan art because I rewatched it for the second time not too long ago. So right here is actually a sketch of Z Tao and that outfit I freaking love that he was in. So look at that. His face turned out super well. Like I'm so shook that I did his face that as well as I did because I'm just like ah and here's a all pencil and colored pencil drawing <laughs> of him and Jinjin Jin, or J Janice Wu plays Jinjin Jin. but look how cute this is I just thought it was so adorable man like ah 
Oh, they're so cute. So, 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 so cute. So, and here's some more Akise, which you probably cannot see. Again, I will try to stop using that blue pencil in the future because, again, it just doesn't work <laughs> with a lot of cameras. And this is Nautica's Draw This in Your Style. She goes by Usa-chan now, but um, this is her character, Falsetto, that she put up as a Draw This in Your Style. And I enjoy drawing her. I love the monochromatic feel of it, and it was just overall very fun to draw so yeah and here's the drawing I did of Rayo and Chio. Honestly, this was my very first drawing in the sketchbook. I just flipped to a random page. And I was like, let me just draw Rayo and Chio. So that is exactly what I did. And they're so freaking adorable, man. All right. And then if I turn over, uh, here's a drawing of Wendy from Fairy Tale. But I kind of want to jump into the black Tober. So I made her a black girl. <laughs> because I think black girls with blue hair, blue eyes are so gorgeous. So I'm like, I must do Wendy from fairy tale so I did her little her uh barrettes in her hair I did it more as puff balls as like scrunchies because we wear scrunchies we don't wear you know those hair things Wendy wore and then I tried to make her hair as thick as I could because I, I don't know I'm not trying to be you know you know, race specific, but I feel like with black people, our hair would be a lot more thicker. Well, it is thicker than normal people. So I didn't make her hair as, you know, stringy as, you know, her hair actually is. So I just made it more clumpy because, you know, our hair is a lot more thicker. And then, of course, I drew, I colored her skin with a brown marker because it's Blacktober. <laughs> and here is some more Micah and Ari being adorable. <laughs> All right. And here is supposed to be a comic of Micah and Ari, but I never finished it. Because I'm famous for starting comics, not finishing them. <laughs> Alright, and here's a sketch of Etna from Disgaea being forever a babe. Because Etna is one of my favorite girl characters. And this is me drawing a random girl with those um, Arteza Iconic pens I got from Unico. <laughs> and they're really nice. I really, really like them. And here is the last drawing in here, which is of Doe from the show Magical Doe Ray Me. And, the, and this was actually done with those watercolors I mentioned way before. So um, if I flip back <laughs> to that drawing of the Kise I did, if I could find it real quick. All right. <laughs> so this is my first attempt with those watercolors and this is my second attempt so again I kind of found my own style of using them and they actually are really nice paints I really love them I love them a lot so yeah so that is it for this sketchbook and the rest of this is just color swatches so that is it for this sketchbook update guys again uh, it's not a sketchbook that I'm like yes I want to share but I like all the progress things I did in here so if you guys like this video give it a like comment down what was your favorite thing you saw in this sketchbook or drawing whatever you liked let me know in my comment box below and i will see you guys in my next video all right bye <laughs>